I'm going to show you everything that I eat in a week and there was really only one appropriate way to start this video and that is with baked oats. A full week of eating, a full week of trying to level up with my diet. But that is not just about food. Your diet isn't only what you eat, it is what you watch, what you listen to, what you read and the people you hang around. Be mindful of the things that you put into your body emotionally, spiritually and physically. Welcome to the fourth episode of my Level Up series. We're starting with making baked oats. I added all ingredients to the list. You can change how much you want to make or you can add different ingredients. I put everything in a blender. This will give more of a cake consistency, but you can also just mix it manually to get more texture. My current goal is to build muscle, to be strong, to feel good, to move more and to eat more. This is what I eat to help me work towards those goals. But that doesn't mean that you should eat the same. Every body is unique and thus has unique requirements. To get an idea of how much you should be eating, I'll leave a link to my free macro calculator in the description box. You can also find my home and gym programs there. Or you can find them on my Instagram, where I post workout videos almost daily. This workout was part of my upper body workout. I did three different movements, which were all very challenging and really, really fun. Meal prep. When I'm cooking, I almost always make more than what I plan to eat because that doesn't take any extra time or extra dishes and it helps me make better choices during the day. Here, I was cooking a bunch of rice, I oven baked some chicken and I made a green juice. Kept everything that I didn't end up eating in the fridge. Um, for the chicken, I just added some olive oil, lemon juice, some garlic cloves, rosemary, salt and pepper and then I put the chicken in the oven. I flipped it halfway and then I overcooked it. That's classic, always what happens. And then in the meantime, I made a green juice with some kale, zucchini, cucumber, banana, apple, and celery. It leaves a big mess, but again, that's why I make a lot and I prep it. I, of course, also made lunch consisting of the chicken, rice, some avocado and some cashew nuts for some healthy fats. And when everything was cooled off, I put it in containers to keep it in the fridge. Then it was time to make dinner and I got some air fryer fries. I always look for the pre-cut ones with almost no added oils, etc. And then I just pop them in the air fryer for 10 to 20 minutes at the max temperature. I love potatoes, so you'll see me eating these fries a lot more during the week. And I also made steak and added some mushrooms. And then the final thing for today was some low-fat Greek yogurt. It's day number two and we are going baking. For day two, we are going to make waffles. The ingredients are on the screen. I made this for Ruben and I, so it definitely makes a lot. You can add different ingredients, just play around with it. I got some banana that I put in there, but you can also add lemon rasp, for example, to make them a bit more sour, which tastes great. I know it sounds weird. And I also made them the other day with extra protein as well, just by adding a scoop of protein powder and a bit less oats. I got this three in one grill, I poured in the butter and I just waited. I just waited and then they were done. I made them a little bit too small in the first round because I was afraid that they would overflow, but they got better with time and I also prepared the toppings in the meantime. Now, you know, I love my complete meals, so I also made some eggs just for some extra protein. And then I topped the waffles with some syrup, with some fruits and I had the eggs next to it. I love making my favorite things to eat as pancakes or waffles, but then with more nutritious ingredients as oats. For me, that's the perfect balance of eating things that I enjoy and fueling my body properly. And then it was time for coffee. Always coffee. And I just have it with oat milk. Then I got a pitaya bowl with extra protein in it. And that tastes like absolute summer and I love it. The carbs gave me the energy that I needed for my workout and it was lag day. So you already know that I was super tired afterwards. This is my tired face. I made some fried rice with the rice that I already had prepared earlier that week just by adding egg and some vegetables. And then I also added some chicken and avocado. 
and then I had my green juice that Loi tried to steal, which makes no sense, even though she absolutely loves vegetables. I don't know why, but those are her favorite things to snack on. And to finish that day, I had some Greek yogurt with cereal, because cereal as dessert is the best. The next day, we grabbed breakfast on the road as we had dog training. I got some whole wheat buns for me and I got some low fat cheese. Reminds me of my old days and I love it. It's super quick, super easy. And then after training, I decided to go ahead and boil some chicken to make an avocado and chicken sandwich. I haven't actually done that before too often and they were overcooked. So it goes really, really quick. Just make sure that you read some rules, I guess, on Google and figure out what you have to do because it depends on how big of a piece is the chicken is, etc. Just make sure that you add oil and spices to your water to maximize the flavor of the chicken because you don't want it to be like super blunt and you know what i just added avocado again because avocado is life i love it and then spread it out over a pita that i grilled and that was it super easy and i found these rice cakes in the store with chocolate and they are so good quick snack and then for dinner i made pasta the base is always garlic and onion and then add your protein source in my case it was minced lean beef veggies, tomato sauce, whatever you like. And then for the noodles, I used Atkins High Protein Penne. Not the best ones out there, the best tasting ones, but perfect balance for me. Just add some extra sauce, cheese, avocado, nuts, or any other toppings to spice it up. And then I got some sunscreen again. I saw some comments about it during my morning routine and I actually ran out and it was the perfect reminder to go get me some new one. So I did. Thank you for reminding me. If you want to see my full makeup routine in a bit more depth, then check out that morning routine video. It's actually the first Good one. Good morning. My level it is. What day is it? It's Wednesday. I'm about to make breakfast. On Wednesday, we have dog training again. Uh, for another hour so we'll be heading there very soon but first i think i'm going to make pancakes because apparently yesterday was national pancake day i don't know how you guys keep up with all these days i always know like after the fact but so i'm going to make pancakes today to celebrate a bit late but it's fine we are making protein pancakes as you'll notice my breakfast ingredients are almost always the same but i just have it in a different variation I guess and that's just because it gives me long lasting energy and I love having a sweet breakfast. I use Rum's Best Protein Powder. I'll pop the link in the description box if you want to check it out. And then for lunch I had rice with chicken. Okay so it is time for me to edit and I have a quick editing snack. I have the same like, rice cakes with chocolate and some water because hydration is key. So let's see if we can make episode 3 epic. I hope so. I had a lot of fun filming it. Okay, cheers. And for dinner, Ruben made tortellini pasta. I think that's what they're called. I know I said it wrong before and I'm sorry, but I had caudal do this as you can see. And then the final snack is uh, a protein bar that I tried to microwave. Not the biggest fan. I think I have to try it again to see what my end conclusion is. Um, I microwaved for 15 to 30 seconds and then it blew up, so make sure to keep watching. <laughs> and then the next day I got my oats. You can add so many different toppings and completely change the taste. It is so versatile. And then as a snack I had some eggs afterwards. For lunch I'm making some tosti, so basically um, grilled cheese bread with a bit of butter. And for that I'm using the a grill that I made the waffles in, but then with a different attachment. I always had this when I was little, so it brings back memories. I got some bread, added some butter and cheese, and then I grilled it. I always made this when I got back home from high school. It's so easy and it tastes so much more special compared to just a regular sandwich with cheese. And then I always have it with some curry or ketchup, but preferably curry. I don't know, that's just more taste. And this was a fill, as you can see, but it's delicious. And I love the grill thing that I got. Then 
Then in the afternoon I had a protein shake and we got burgers in the evening. Now I'm not the biggest burger fan, but this one has to be the best. The ingredients are super fresh and it wasn't too greasy for me. And I also got some sweet potato fries and coleslaw next to it. I think that's how you say it. Back to the waffles again. This time I made them with extra protein and a bit less oats. I only got one. I don't know why it got so dense all of a sudden. I think I also added um, not enough or not as much oat milk. Maybe I forgot the eggs. I don't know. It's early and <laughs> my brain doesn't work the best when it's early. And then I added some banana as a topping. And then I got some green juice. It is called the Victoria Secret Juice. Um, and that is why one of the cups says a Victoria, because that is one of the questions that I saw in my previous video. Then I got a baguette and I forgot to film it, so I already ate half of it, but I got the second half. And then it was time for another little meal prep, oven baking the chicken again, made it more spicy this time, and had it for dinner with fries and a salad. And then I had some chocolate yogurt. Then the one day out of this whole week that I was craving a savory breakfast, I made some egg with zucchini, uh, spinach, garlic, onion, and some cheese. And then I added avocado to a wrap that I toasted before. And then I added the egg to it and also partially next to it so it doesn't overflow. And then I added some ketchup because it's such a chef move to add ketchup to your meals. And then I still had sweet cravings, so I made apple pie oats for lunch. Quickly bake some apple with a tiny bit of butter and light brown sugar before adding it to the oatmeal. And then I topped it with cinnamon and peanut butter. And for dinner, I had an early dinner because I've been working on my sleeping schedule. Do we want a video about it? Let me know. And for that, I air fried potatoes and added chicken. If you're looking for a guard dog, then try an American Stafford. <laughs> okay, so it is time for me to end the video. Yesterday I still had a snack, but I forgot to film it. I had this one, which you remember if you've seen my previous videos, because I actually tried the mint chocolate flavor there, and I was unsure, and I've been craving it ever since. I don't know what happened to me, but I think I'm becoming a mint chocolate fan. Who even am I? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to stay tuned and to subscribe so you won't miss any of my future videos ever again because the next episode, I already planned it and it will be really fun. At least, I think it's really fun. So I hope that you'll enjoy that video as well. Thank you for watching and I hope that you're having an amazing day. Bye, guys. You wanna say bye? Look at the camera. You wanna say bye? Okay. Oh, you're so hairy.